It's a mighty lot of meat. Let me tell you. Almost like you had to feed some sort of experiment. Well. Oh. Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here with the old Falcon one shot on the agenda. We have ourselves a little survival zombie banger. This right here is Nightmare of Decay. Now, this one, I've gotten a lot of requests to check out for a minute now, and I finally get around to it. And in many ways, you know, we have like the entire resurgence right now of uh, a lot of people paying homage to old school survival horror games. Nightmare of Decay is essentially what I would call, based on what I've seen, Resident Evil 1 in a first-person exploratory viewpoint, which honestly sounds pretty badass. It even has the entire PS1 gritty-ass look as well. That's good. <laughs> oh, that is a PS1 it's, it's, face it's, already. It's, it's nah, 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 nah. Uh, I guess you don't understand that. 23-year-old Judith Glasslow was reported missing yesterday evening. She's described as Caucasian, 5 feet 7 inches tall with a slim build and long brown hair. Is, is not the, no, is not. She was last seen entering her apartment after being escorted home by friends following a late night out clubbing. The, no, no, is, the, no, the, no. Police searched her apartment and interviewed neighbors but have been unable to find any clues leading to her current whereabouts. Is, is, nah, is, 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 nah, is, is, nah, is, nah, is. Close friends and relatives say that Glasslow had been complaining about frequent nightmares and hallucinations in the days before she went missing. It is unknown that he's had anything to do with her disappearance. Is, 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 the, nah, 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 the, nah, nah, the, Glasgow is the latest in an alarming number of recent disappearances that have local residents spooked. Authorities say there have been over 10 missing people reported in just the past week. Is, nah, is, 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 nah, the, nah, nah, nah. Police has been unable to find any new leads in their investigation of the disappearances and implore anyone with information to call Missing Persons Investigation Unit at... You turn off the TV. Given having terrible nightmares recently and watching news about these disappearances, is just going to make them worse? It's getting late. I'm feeling pretty tired. You should eat dinner. Take a shower before going to bed. You're pretty sure there was a leftover slice of pizza in the fridge. Alright. Leftover pizza, you know what? I was never a big fan, especially the microwave kind. But you get yourself a little conventional oven and oh! It's like it's not even a leftover anymore. There it is, look at that. Nice slice, the old bachelor life. All right, so pizza, right mouse to use. Nuke it. Aha. There we are. We're gonna get some gratuitous first person nudity. Oh, that's, that's not good. As soon as you turn off the TV, you suddenly notice a reflection of the TV screen that there is someone standing behind your sofa. You turn around and see a large man staring at you with a crazy smile on his face. His hoarse breathing echoes throughout the room. The man is holding a decapitated head of a woman. Thoughts of the recent disappearances come to mind and a cold chill runs up your spine. The next moment a man fades away just as suddenly as he appeared. You must be more tired than you thought if you're going to hallucinate. And maybe eating that pizza before going to bed was not the best of ideas. I mean, that's only applicable if you're like a child, <laughs> when your parents lie to you. You can't have junk food before you go to sleep, you'll have nightmares. Like, no you don't, alright? I'm a grown-ass man now, Mom. I can have all the junk food I want and be fine. Hmm. Or you could just wake up in a casket. Dare I say, is this a mansion? Man, where have I seen those before in uh, survival horror games? Alright, let's go. Uh, how many screams of uh, people being slaughtered? Good. Exactly what you want to hear when you uh, first awaken from a casket. After going to sleep in your own bed. Hey, 
Are you sailing the cat? No, he wants to speak to me now. You see a cat sitting on the railing at the top of the stairs and stares at you with unnaturally intelligent eyes. Oh, he speaks. Of course he does. The cat greets you and strangely enough, you can understand what it's saying. Looks like the Nightmare has claimed yet another victim. Many have been brought here against their will, only to have a terrible end one way or another. No one's ever managed to escape alive. The cat pauses to look you up and down, almost as if to appraise you. Hey, I wonder how long you'll be able to survive for. Not long, I've had to make a guess. It'll be fun to see how you meet your end in this horrible place. Maybe one of the monsters will get you. Or maybe you'll go insane and end yourself. Well, I need to get going. Good luck, stranger. Try not to die too fast. Thanks for the vote of confident. <laughs> Just end myself. Well, I guess we'll start with this knife. Of course. You guys hear that in the background? Because I hear some chomping happening. Is it zombie time, you're asking? I, I think so. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, it's nothing good, I can tell you that much. Oh, okay, there's a gun back there. Should we get the gun? Oh, 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 oh. Chill. Chill, dog. They have to say this knife isn't quite Resident Evil 4. Amazing knife. He's, he's bleeding out, so that means he's dead. Oh god, I wonder if this game's gonna have like... Um, what are they called when they uh, revive again and they're all crazy? It's not regenerators. <laughs> Manor pickup key, alright. Now that... Crimson heads, right? It's crimson heads. <laughs> and a familiar layout for the uh, mansion as well. Oh, yeah, I recognize that painting. That was in a, a free survival horror game that I played based on Francisco. Man, I forget his last name now. But he basically used to do like all these crazy ass drawings because he was going mad himself or something like that. Okay. Now then. Where do we start? Let's go left. Sure, let's go left. Show us we'll bring out the knife first, you know? Bullet. Gotta save our bullets. Lock is simple, I could probably unlock it with a lockpick. Alright. Unfortunately, Joe isn't around because she's the one who starts off with the lockpick. I know, press N to read. Tear stained. Somebody was crying on this note. William has been acting strangely ever since we moved into this manor. He's been spending all his time in the basement doing God knows what. I've tried asking him about it, but he became angry and confrontational. I fear we may be drifting apart. I hate this place. We never should have come here. Well, you know what they say, right? Never should have come here. Hmm. Ooh. All right. I feel that. <laughs> You're gonna break the, the books apart, Falcon, and find bullets in there. I mean, you never know. I mean, who puts bullets in the vase? This door is locked. The shape of a spade has been carved onto the lock. Okay. So we're gonna need some special keys. Very familiar, huh? What is this? 60, 120, 150. Oh, is that a lockpick? Oh, for a chest. Okay. What do we gotta do? Try to get the high score? Score points? <laughs> it's like Resident Evil 4 then. We just need a merchant over here. Welcome us aboard. Pellet gun. Alright. Let's put you here number three momentarily. Start it up. Imagine we want to... Ooh, that one looks good. Ten seconds. Ah, that one gives you time. So yeah, that got us everything. Pistol ammo. 
Shotgun. More importantly, lockpick. No, this is not a <laughs> god, and I think I'm gonna be doing much to the zombies with. Ooh, oh, ho, ho, and then dynamite too. Yeah, so ammo wise, we are doing golden. So I guess we're done here. Alright, let's see what we got here behind door number. Well, I was gonna say door number two, but at this point, it's like door number four or five, really. Handle knocked over. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. There we go. As I said, who puts ammo inside the vase? Oh, first puzzle. There's a number of coins shaped in the sun uh, above the fireplace. An old farmer, tired from a day of hard labor, falls asleep under the shade of a tree while his loyal dog watches over him. Alright. Well, we got no coins, but now we know. And we technically haven't come across zombies inside the manor just yet. I feel like the game is kind of saving up for it, right? Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is something I actually pick up. Empty jar. Acid recipe. Access to some of the areas of the manor has been obstructed by a strange, fleshy groat. Lord William has tasked me with finding a solution to this issue. I discovered that a mixture of containing equal amounts of lanolin, otazon, and aquavarum can be used to create a corrosive acid that can dissolve the fleshy groat and regain access to previously obstructed areas. And that's something to concern ourselves with. Hmm. It's a mighty lot of meat. Let me tell you. Almost like you had to feed some sort of experiment. A lot of meat. Where we at? Dumb waiter left. <laughs> he would be a dumb waiter. Hey, wait, wait, somebody's banging on doors. Not this one. I think it's that one over there. Although this one has the blood coming into it. It's the door to the pantry. The faint stench of rotten meat is coming from behind it. You try to open the door, but it won't budge. After a moment, a rough voice suddenly calls out to you from the other side. Is someone there? Please, I need help. I've accidentally locked myself in here and I can't get back out. While I've been stuck in here, my precious collection has been rotting away. I must escape to that so that I can add fresh toys to it. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you about all that meat? Please, we can help each other. You wish to get in, and I wish to get out. The key to the door should be somewhere in the manor. It's a large blue key with the word pantry carved into it. <laughs> Imagine that. It says pantry for the pantry door. Please hurry. I do not wish to spend another moment stuck in here. My collection is rotting away. Alright. Well. Oh. Yeah, I think we might have found this guy's collection. And you know we gotta get back to that room. This is way too many zombies to kill. Absolutely not. We got a uh, lure. There's also some items I think over there too. Okay. Last dude. Keep with the posse. Keep with the posse. And now we dash into this room. Get the gun out just in case. Bloody sack. Anything else? Anything else? I don't see anything else. Saw this. Expected. Oh, oh, we'll read it later. Ooh. <gasps> okay, chill. It's getting a little hectic now, isn't it? Alright. All we boys, I think we could work with. I have a feeling we're going to be spending a lot of time in here. Only one, though. The other one we can dodge around. Now. Can you excuse me while I read this? No moving. Back there, zombie. The damn dumbwaiter is broken again. I was sending up the pantry key to the second floor. There's a key. The platform got stuck in the shaft on the way up. Now, no one can get into the pantry until the stupid lift is fixed. Lord William's gonna be furious. Maybe dropping something heavy into the shaft from the second floor will be enough to dislodge it. Well, guess what? 
Oh, <laughs> I thought he disappeared. Um, guess what? Are you heavy enough? Surprisingly heavy. We're gonna dump this down. Second floor. Alright, hold up, hold up. Any more zombies? Oh, this hallway is crawling with the zombos. I don't like these windows, by the way. Especially because there's goods back there. It almost feels like, you know... Yeah, you know what's gonna happen, right? And here we go. I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, we never, ever gotta come back there again. It's fine. Get your stamina back. Hello, my good friend. Enjoying a meal, are we? He's up. I think one is worth it. Yeah, I think one is worth it. Use the toilet. Okay, let's get to it. Ooh, hey, two boys. It's okay. Just uh, ignore. Please do not be locked. Thank you. Unsolved environmental puzzles can be reset by exiting and re-entering the area. Ah. So it's time for us to use our noggin a little bit here. Club. Okay. So spade below, club up here. Push this ladder. Again. It's an old grandfather clock. There's a keyhole that can be used to unlock the face covering. Right. Oh, spade key. So we get this key, we got our spade key for down below. What do you think we need a step ladder for? Because here it feels where we drop the sack, right? Oh, this is probably the step ladder. It works. Alright, so that's one step. Step two would be the vent. There we are. Very, very complicated puzzle, you know? Climb through the vent. Um, you know what? Not just yet. Let me just check really quickly. These millions of doors here. Ooh, we got a light too. Should be able to get that without blatting this dude. Famous last words? Yes. Nothing in that body? No. Okay. And that's it. That's it. I'm good. Any more doors? Oh, and that's gonna. Oh, 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 oh hold up, hold up. Before we open these doors, I'm hoping this um, unlocks it from this side. Assuming it was even locked to begin with. It was. Which makes sense, because it's the manner at the start point. It didn't want you to come up here the first time. You had to unlock the shortcut. Nice. Three doors. I have a feeling you guys are going to be coming back to life soon enough. Ah. Mm-hmm. Now, hold up. In and out. Would it, um, put these guys back on the floor? No. Nah, they're just... They're here to stay. Those two over there we could mess around with. Show. Sure. The bullets over there, but more importantly, I think there's like a note over there or something. Is that a coin? It could be a coin for our puzzle down below. Yeah. I kind of want the other dude to spot me too, so I can lure both of them down here. I feel like if I do it this way, I'm gonna probably get pincered. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, that was on me. That was all my fault. I don't know what happened. I panicked. And apparently, I wasn't grabbing the coin, even though I was smashing on E. Alright, well, now we're fine. But I told you this guy would pincer me, too. Self-fulfilling prophecy, Falcon? Yeah, kind of. Oh! Two more, correct? Yeah. We'll check these out and then we'll go into the vent. Alright. Chill. I hear noises. You got so much pistol ammunition. What's this room looking like? There's a, yeah. Oof. What is that noise? It's tripping me out. really nothing here? Are you kidding me? I can't awaken all these zombies though, it's a, it's a trap. Okay, that's probably where we come out from once we go through here, so we know our destination. Maybe one of our acid um, items, too. Yep. Okay. <gasps> Are you kidding me? And then it scared me extra because I was about to check the map, too. So I felt that when I hit M, I, I blew the game up. Yo, there better not be some nemesis tyrant zombie out here now. Oh no, it's just... A lot of zombies. Okay. Um, we need to get back downstairs, don't we? Run, run, run. I think the best way would be through here. Hello, my friend. Oh, we good. So, with this done, we need to... Oh, the pantry, right. Oh yeah. Did I ever try this door? I did not. Where does this lead to? Oh, that's where we came out. I see. Hmm. What are you guarding back here? Oh. Uh, do your little... Zombie loop. <laughs> Alright. Let's get our key. And I guess we'll start wrapping it up after we um, get whoever's in the pantry out of there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. We can definitely come back and do some more. I'm actually digging this so far. Hmm. Or would it be the tree up above? Tree, farmer, doggo. Well, let's just put it there for now. We'll figure out the order later. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying it, let me know. You can definitely come back and do some more. Otherwise, all the info for this will be down below. It cost me like $4, I believe. So, this is definitely worth it for 4 bucks, I would say. Hello, my friends. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Don't get winded. Oh, you ding-dong. You gotta do the... Damn it. You gotta do the thing where you use the key. As opposed to just unlock it automatically. Like sometimes you can. Alright. Um. We might have to blad one zombie. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You back there, come over here. Don't stay over there, don't you dare. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. Chill, chill. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. 
You open the door and what greets you is a ghastly sight of mutilated bodies and pale on sticks. The pungent stench of rotten flesh bursts from the now open doorway and assaults your nose. Mysteriously, the key had disappeared and there's no sign of a person that was locked on the other side of the room. Holy hell. Of course. A young woman has been impaled on a wooden stake. Her expression is eerily peaceful despite the gruesome manner of her death. Oh, another coin. You pry the coin from her dead hand. The woman related the anguish crying of a woman echoes throughout the pantry and a cold chill runs up your spine as you sense a malicious presence in the center of the room. <gasps> no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. Nah, dog, you can, you can hang out with your meat golem there and your zombies. Are you kidding me? It's like a million enemies in there. <laughs> well, perfect way for us to wrap up, I would say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for the suggestion. As I mentioned again, if you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. We can definitely come back and do some more. This is uh, surprisingly pretty damn good. Catch you guys next time.